Hey everyone, I just wanted to address the news that many of you may have heard about today, that Daily Puzzles, uh, an Australian Rubik's Cube company that I've had a partnership with for nearly five years now, wow, uh, just announced that they are closing. This is really, really sad news for so many people and I wanted to take some time to process this out loud with you and talk about what I think is, in, is really important for us to do right now. So here's part of the letter that got released today. Hey everyone, my name is Billy and if you don't already know me, I'm the founder and CEO of Daily Puzzles. It's with a heavy heart that I'm announcing that we are closing down Daily Puzzles after eight years of operation and proudly serving the Cuban community we unfortunately have come to a point where current economic conditions have put us in a position where we can no longer afford to keep the business operational and we're going to close on the 17th of April, 2024. I wanna take a moment to thank all of our customers, supporters, sponsors, and staff for everything that they have done, not only for daily puzzles, but me personally over these past eight years. I started this business at 16 years old with $200 out of my bedroom and never expected it would turn into even a small amount of what it became. I'm sincerely grateful for the opportunity I had to serve the Cuban community for these years. It's been a privilege and I will carry these memories with me forever. I remember very clearly actually when I reached out to Billy from Daily Puzzles, yeah, I guess five years ago, uh, telling him that Hey, I'm starting to make cubing videos on YouTube reviewing puzzles. Uh, I've bought a bunch of puzzles from you. Just wondering whether you'd be interested in some sort of a partnership that could be, you know, mutually beneficial. And uh, I, I don't know what I expected. Like, I, I don't think I had a lot of experience with talking to, I don't know, owners of companies or anything. But what I found was like almost immediately like uh, a brother, you know, someone who was so professional and so, you know, he did things right and by the book, but he was also so kind and like an instant just like, yeah, you know, I would love to love to work with you. I would love to see, you know, Cuban grow in Australia. Um, and what I found month after month, year after year with working with Billy is that he's exactly that, that genuine kind guy I met at the very start. Like he's running a business, but his obsession has always been like, how can I best serve people? Like how can I get the cube that they want straight to them as fast as possible? There's been a bunch of stories of people who have contacted him asking for a product that like isn't at his store uh you know he wouldn't he would never you know tell these stories because it's not about him but he would go out of his way to like try and, and make that happen to like help people get what they want and i've learned a lot from him about what it looks like to yeah to serve people well to to give people what the the they're after and and even more and, and as the years went along, his business grew and my channel grew and it was just, it was really cool. Just like, you know, supporting each other and going from like strength to strength. Uh, and you know, there are so many technical, I suppose, reasons that could explain why he would have to shut his business. Like you could say, oh yeah, you know, it's just the cost of living in 2024 or, it's just the economy, it does, it's so rough on small businesses these days. But what I do know is that he did every single thing he could uh, to keep things going for, for you guys. And it was so many factors that um, were out of anyone's control. I remember with very fond memories, um, popping into the Daily Puzzles warehouse a bit over a year ago, uh, seeing him meeting his team, doing what they do best, and just like the work culture, um, just that real sense of like, I don't know, brotherhood, sisterhood, 
that sense of like, you know, well, we're colleagues, but then like, he really, really cares for the people working there. And I think that's just a testament to his character and, you know, everything I've, I've been saying so far. He built something really beautiful. You built something really beautiful, Billy. And you, you should be so proud of that. That can't be taken away from you. Now, to be clear, Daily Puzzles is closing, but Ting Man, this channel, isn't going anywhere. It's my partnership uh, with a cube company that's going to be going. And <laughs> I'm just going to be honest, I can't imagine doing videos, um, going to cube comps, you know, not revving Daily Puzzles. It's just been so much a part of my story. And I'm so grateful for that. You know, making, getting, getting the Ting Man discount code and then getting uh, the Ola discount code and then like the rivalry <laughs> between me and, and Ola and then later with Ting Boy once he became a Cuba and like all the fights with like who had the best discount code. TNL, you know, fights with him. Just a lot of fights, basically. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful for the laughs, for just the, the creativity that uh, Daily Puzzles gave us, like how open they were to like, I'd come up with some like crazy idea and he'd just be like, go for it. I love it. I, I actually remember like when I messaged him saying, uh, I'm... <laughs> can I have you appear in a video like as a puppet because he lives in a different city from me. So I can't exactly have him like show up in a video. And he was like, uh, yeah, what would the puppet look like? And I sent him like a bunch of like possible puppets. And then, and, and then he chose the one that he thought best represented him. And yeah, Billy the puppet. Billy pu the puppet even like sang a song. I never thought I'd see this day. But here I am, and I gotta say, oh, Ting Boy, Ting Boy, with that Rubik's toy, Rubik's toy. So here I am in puppet mode, puppet mode. saying Ting Boy is a discount code at Daily Puzzle Store. He's all that and more. Let's give it for Ting Boy. Ting Boy. The Yeet Ball, right? The Yeet Ball. Oh my goodness. The Yeet Bull song, remember that? Y is for the name YJ. So Yeet Bull's more than just a twisty toy. Daily Puzzles is the real McCoy. Oh, and like the many times that he's given a massive, usually the very first person to donate uh, every time I've done a cubing live stream uh, with, you know, not wanting any anything in return. It's just like, He's told me, loves the fact that it's like cubing is being used for good and it's like blessing so many people. And he's just like, I want to just get the ball rolling. I want to do, do all, all that I can. Like, it's incredible. And you know, as sad as I want to be, as sad as I am, uh, I'm, I am genuinely filled with so much, so much gratitude for what Daily Puzzles has done for me, what it's meant for me, what it's meant for the cubing com community. Uh, it's priority of trying to literally trying to just like explode speed cubing and, and grow the community worldwide. All you guys, you know, who like when you meet me in person and you tell me that like you, 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 you're like, I always shop from Daily Puzzles and I always use coding that. <laughs> and it's like, that, that means a lot. That's, that's amazing. Like the support that you guys show to me and, and, and you know, the cubes that you've gotten from, from Daily Puzzles, like, I think in their prime, like literally over a thousand cubes were leaving like daily puzzles doors every day. Like that number is just insane. It's probably more, Billy will correct me later. It's crazy. I, I think we've, we've all benefited from it, right? Um, I think in that very first video that I announced my, my partnership with daily puzzles, I said that I, th I, I firmly believe that competition between companies is really good. It keeps companies accountable and it keeps, it's good for all the customers because it keeps prices competitive. It, it makes, um, you know, companies really want to try and serve really well. And I think we are all the poorer for losing, for, for, for losing um, daily puzzles. 
Michael Tripodi, my good friend and someone also sponsored by Daily Puzzles, posted something on Instagram today that just captures it so, so well. He said that after his second competition ever, he received a message from Billy asking uh, Michael whether he wanted to join Team Daily Puzzles. And he like declined instantly because he didn't want to be attached to a brand. But over the next few months, he just Billy continued to just like reach out and say, hey, you know, can I support you in some way? And Michael wrote, after many months, I came to realize that this was much more than a simple business move. Behind the brand name was someone who actually saw potential in me and wanted to see it fulfilled. The man standing behind it all was someone who genuinely cared about pushing the boundaries of Australian speed cubing. And I can't be thankful enough that he saw in me that I could become the cuba that I am now. To Billy, thank you. Your generosity, belief, and compassion have molded me into the Cuba I am today. And it is with many tears that I have to say goodbye. Until next time, take care of yourself. But <laughs> I'm going to do the YouTube thing now and say there's something even crazy you didn't realize. But there, there honestly is. Um, in the last few months, you know, Billy's been getting as much advice as possible um, to keep the business going and deliver what customers order. And part of that was um, getting help from David Fogarty, who uh, the inventor of, of the Udi, uh, he's on Shark Tank Australia, like an incredible guy. He made a documentary with Billy um, in which it was revealed that um, Billy looks after his mother who has a chronic illness. I started this out of the bedroom of mom's house and Mum's been an incredible support for me this entire time and the entire time I've been running this she's been suffering from a chronic illness called fibromyalgia and um, she's shown me such incredible strength because she's like suffered so much with her illness and seeing her like go through that and she's like the most positive person I know. It's so much more than like losing your job as like terrible as that is. It's him not being able to support his mom. And, and, and it reminds me of one, of one of my favorite quotes, which is, it says, be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. And I think, I think that's spot on with, I mean, with, with everyone, of course, it's just like a great way to do life, but I don't think I knew the extent to which Billy was carrying this, you know, invisible burden. Uh, Davey started a, a GoFundMe for uh, Billy to raise money. Um, I'm going to put a link to that in, in the description below. That's separate from daily puzzles and everything. If you're in a position where you can give something, this is absolutely not something he asked me to do if anything he's probably like pretty like annoyed that i'm like putting that out there because he wouldn't want it to be you know about him and like you know people giving money to him that's just not the kind of person that he is but i'm i have to right i'm sorry billy you can be annoyed at me it's fine but i do want to support you and your mom his announcement today also came with um, obviously news that there'll be a massive clearance sale. Uh, and you know, while there aren't a ton of things still left uh, in stock in the Daily Puzzles warehouse, it's, I believe a 60% off clearance sale. Like I already went in and bought like a bunch of things myself because I wanna, yep, I wanna help with this, you know, last bit, but also 60% um, off is pretty good. <laughs> So, yeah, um, that goes for uh, an another week um, from today. On behalf of Billy, can I say, <laughs> he hasn't given me this, these words to say. Once again, I am just speaking on his behalf, uh, but I'm pretty sure he would want to say a huge, huge thank you to just where you've brought daily puzzles. Actually, wait. He, he said this at the end of his announcement. Why am I putting words in his mouth when I can just like read the way that he concludes? Okay, so he says at the very end, thank you to each and every one of you who supported our journey, whether it was placing an order or following us on social media. You are the reason we got to do this. Warm regards, Billy Pippin. I was right. I knew he wants to say a big thank you to you guys. And I just want to amplify that. Thank you, thank you from him. Thank you, thank you from me. And if I can flip it around, because again, Billy, I know you're watching this. 
Thank you to you. Thank you for following your crazy dream from I can't believe you were 16 when you started this and just like making something that has served so many people uh, that has meant so much to me personally, but just to literally like tens, probably hundreds of thousands of, of people. I told you once, Billy, that with the number of cubes Daily Puzzles have sold, like 100%, there have been world records set with your cubes, like cubes that left your warehouse. Like how mind blowing is that? You have really empowered the cubing community and like hats off to you, buddy. Like so much appreciation, so much respect. The next few weeks, months, years even will be challenging for you as you close this chapter in your life. But I have 100% no doubt that there is something exciting for you on the other side. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't, I don't have a time machine, but I, there are some things I know. I know your character. I know your resilience. I know your kindness and that combination. There is something bright and special for you on the other side of this. We are all so much poorer for not having daily puzzles anymore, but mate, the legacy you've left, the these huge rocks you've thrown into the lake will have ripples that will go on for such a long time. And I am sad. I am so sad, but I am so grateful. I will forever be proud that I was once on team Daily Puzzles. And I mean that. Go check out their closing down sale. It feels so weird to say that. Um, Check out the GoFundMe um, fundraiser for Billy and for his mom. If you can, that would be incredible. I know that as soon as I stop recording, I'm gonna think of a billion more things that I want to say, but this is what, this is what my heart really needed to say right now. And I appreciate you watching it. I will catch you guys around. Look after yourselves, look after each other. Always, always choose to be kind. See ya.